Olivia, thank you. As you saw, those festivities kicked off today. Western Mass News reporter Paris Dunford was at the roadways. She spoke with runners who drove from near and far to take part in all the fun. The streets of Holyoke were flooded with people dressed in green Saturday, all to either participate or to watch the St. Patrick's Road Race. 5,000 people registered for Saturday's event. Uh, this is a great uh, homecoming for not only Holyoke, but all of Western Mass. Um, people come from, from all over. Uh, we have 37 uh, states represented in people running the race today. The day kicked off with a kids fun run at 11, then a presentation at noon, and a performance by the Mummers, and the race kicked off at 1, with those who walked the race following right behind. We caught up with a group of runners from New Hampshire who drove more than an hour in a 12-person van to run the 10K. And it's a great 10K. It's um, a hilly course, so it's it's got a little bit of rolling hills. It's got a little of everything, and it's a great race to train for. Many people we spoke with say the Holyoke St. Patrick's Road Race has become a tradition for their family and friends over the years. I have been doing it every year since 2013. Although the people we spoke with were running in the race, they say that's not what they're looking forward to the most. I like the people people that participate uh, because of their enthusiasm and vigor. Uh, I like the fans because they're very supportive and I like the music and the good times. The people, the food, the music, and even the beer is what brings them out each and every year. Too, it's a lot of fun. They keep you well hydrated too. Whatever you need, they'll, uh, they've got Beer, jello shots, <laughs> water, you know, I mean, the atmosphere is just electric. Reporting for Western Mass News, I'm Paris Dunford.